Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this 3D box. So the other day I shared a bunch of dies and projects that I did and one of the projects was this 3D box. And so I thought that I would share with everyone how I put it together because it was uh, a little bit confusing at first until I figured out how everything went together. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. This is how the dies come. Well, everything was together and you'll need to break everything apart. So the pieces that you'll need to cut apart, you'll need to cut out two of these. And I just realized that I used a solid paper. You can see this is the pink. I just cut this out of pattern paper and it's not double sided, but it's still gonna be okay. It'll still turn out cute because we're going to add these flaps to it and the pattern will still be down here. So it'll still turn out cute. Then you're going to need to cut out four of these uh, pieces that have the little notch out in them. So what I did was I like to have like a focal point in the back like I did with this swan back here. So I cut out a little bird from the paper pad and then I cut out two flaps and I know that the front one I want to be facing me so I made sure that I labeled this front and so it's not going to be upside down. I cut it so that the pattern, you probably can't even tell right here, but the twig, the stems are going down, not the reverse. So for example, if this bird was going to be the front flap, I would have cut the bird so that the bird would be facing upright, not upside down, like this. I wouldn't put the bird upside down. I would cut it so that these angles right here would be down, but the bird would still be facing up. I hope that makes sense, guys. So you'll need four of these, and then you'll need four of these box pieces because these go around the box down here. Then you need three of these band-aid looking pieces right here because these are the supports and that's what you're going to be putting like your decorations on. And I used some uh, border dies in my from my stash but you guys can use like decorative scissors or you can just cut straight across to mount the flower pieces onto it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be a decorative piece so I didn't use such fancy dies this time I just used like some regular ones um, my scissors my decorative scissors they don't cut out so great and I'm not a great like straight cutter with those scissors so I just use some plain dies again and what I did was I took this piece and I kind of pinched it off right here and then I just cut a line up to make sure that this would fit inside of this because that is going to fit inside of your box and you want to make sure that this piece right here that you cut out fits all the way up because this is going to collapse inside of your box and you're going to want to trim this off and we'll do that a little bit later. So you'll need three of those pieces right there. And then I cut out and I already assembled these for time but I already made these flowers. So it gives you the a a smaller flower and a bigger flower and to put them together like this it gives you the stem cut out and I um, already put that together and then it gives you the center for the flower so I already put that together and then it gives you the sun so I already cut that out and put that together and then I just used a cloud die for my stash that we're going to add that in there with so I'm going to get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is pick up your dies and you're going to want these flaps right here. These flaps are going to face up. 
So you're going to put these facing up, put them down, and put them together like this. Now you're going to want to put this piece of paper up to, but not overlapping this score line right here. So how you can do, do that and make sure you're not overlapping is to bring this other piece of paper up. Now you're going to want, going to, want to put glue or tape right there. Now I'm using my art glitter glue with a fine point tip and I'll have links down below for Amazon if you would like to purchase that. I am not sponsored by them. I just really like this glue right here. So I put that together. Then this is how the box forms. You guys bring this flap around like this and then you'll need to put glue right here. And then you get your box. Do you see? So I'm going to put glue right here. So now our box is assembled. We're going to want to bring these flaps and pull them down. Now I could have put these flaps on when everything was flat, but I wanted to show you guys how to do this. And the box goes flat like this anyways, so I wasn't too worried about it. So then the next thing is I'm going to put the bird on right there. So that one, the bird will be my back piece. So then that means that the front piece will be this one right here. So then I need to find the one that said front, which is right here. And just double check. That's my front piece. And glue that down. Then the next step, I want to glue these on. So I'm going to make sure everything looks like it's upright and begin gluing. So here's what our box looks like so far. It looks really cute. Okay, so the next step is to add in these supports. So the best way to do this is to put this in here and to make sure that they're even just far enough so it's like this from the edges. So you're gonna put the glue on this flap and this flap and then glue it in. And then you're gonna put one over here and one in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. Then you can squeeze these together and push down just to make sure that they're secure in place. Okay, so you're going to test all of your pieces that you've cut out by putting it in here on your line like this and closing it and looking in there really closely to make sure that it will fit on your support when you close it. So see how it still fits in there?
and it won't be a problem. So I've tested all of mine and they will close. So we can move on. So I know the order that I want mine in, so I, I'm going to decorate them. So I'm just putting this flower on the background right here. And I'm tilting it off to one side so that the bird won't be covered up. And then this will go in here like this. So I'm actually just going to put the glue on the support so I don't get a bunch of glue everywhere else where I don't need it. And the good thing about these collab that this collapses is that you can push it close to put pressure on it. And then it still opens back up. So this is what we have so far. Looks really cute. So then the next one is going to be this one. I'm going to want this down a little bit further. And I'm probably going to pick this darker colored flower. Probably going to put it in the middle but low. Like this. So now I have the last one right here. I'm probably going to put it on this side over here. Sticking out like this. So this is what we're looking like so far. So now I can assemble the cloud, which I think I'm going to do right here. And then put the sun peeking behind it. So here is what it looks like. I hope that you guys check out their shop. I'm going to have the links to the product below. And I hope that you guys check out my other two videos that I have created so far. I'll have that in the description box below. And I thank you guys so much for watching, liking all my videos, and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate your support. I couldn't have made it this far without you guys. I'm almost to 300 subscribers and I really appreciate it. I want to let you guys know that once I make it to 500, I'm going to be having a giveaway. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video.